William Robert Button was born 3 December 1895 in St. Louis, Missouri, and after joining the Marine Corps, was sent to fight in Haiti. He was in command of a group of men near Grande Riviere, Republic of Haiti, on 3 October, 1 November 1919, when they engaged a group of Haitians opposed to the U.S. occupation. By the end of the fighting, Charlemagne Perrault, alleged in Button's citation to be the supreme bandit chief in the Republic of Haiti, had been killed and about 1,200 of his followers had been killed, captured, or dispersed. For risking his life in the battle, he, along with Sergeant Herman Hanneken, both of whom disguised themselves as Kakos and entered the headquarters of the Haitian Kako leader, were cited for bravery and recommended for the United States military's highest decoration for bravery, the Medal of Honor, for their actions. The medal was approved by the Secretary of the Navy on 10 June 1920 and presented by Major General Commandant of the Marine Corps, John Archer Lejeune, at a ceremony in Washington, D.C., 1 July 1920. After the ceremony, he took a short furlough to his hometown of St. Louis, before returning to Haiti. He died of malaria at the age of 25 on 15 April 1921 at the Department Hospital, Cape Haitian, Haiti. At the request of his father, his remains were returned to the United States and he is buried at Valhalla Cemetery, St. Louis, Missouri. His grave can be found in Section 5S, Lot 66, Grave 1. The Marines he served with in the unit donated money to place a bronze memorial tablet on his grave and stated that any additional funds will be used to place flowers on his grave each memorial day. The United States Navy named a roll-on roll-off container ship the USNS Sergeant William R. Button TAK 3012 in his honor. His citation reads as follows. The President of the United States of America in the name of Congress takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Corporal William Robert Button, United States Marine Corps, for extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in the actual conflict with the enemy near Grande Riviere, Republic of Haiti, on the night of 31 October, 1 November 1919, resulting in the death of Charlemagne Perrault, the Supreme Bandit Chief in the Republic of Haiti, and the killing, capture, and dispersal of about 1,200 of his outlaw followers. Corporal William R. Button not only distinguished himself by his excellent judgment and leadership, but also unhesitantly exposed himself to great personal danger when the slightest error would have forfeited not only his life, but the lives of the detachments of men under his command. The successful termination of his mission will undoubtedly prove of untold value to the Republic of Haiti. As always, stay salty devils, semper fi, and carry on.